Greetings, consciousness, and welcome back. So in this podcast, we are talking about Osiris and Satan, the god of the perfect black in ancient Kemet. Because the word Satan only derives from Saturn. Today we call them planets. In the ancient world, they were called gods. If you read the Hermetic writings or the Kemetic writings, the Kemites did not have angels. They only had gods. These gods recently became angels in these modern day religions. But they knew them as gods. Especially the seven that runs human affairs in this world. And so this podcast is about Osiris, Asa, and Satan. Satan has been misunderstood. You know, many people have assumed that Satan is some beast in the earth trying to eat men. But that is not the case. If you look at the Hall of Judgment in Kemet, Asa sits on his throne as a judge. The soul comes before him. You have Anubis, Dauti, Anubis being serious, Dauti, Mercury. Your heart is placed on the scale against a feather. In front of us, Asa, Osiris, you see like a, a lotus flower. Because he's not there to judge you. Your own heart. Is what draws you towards him or your own heart fails you then you enter the underworld which means you're reborn or rebirth reincarnation and so Asa Osiris has power over humanity as a judge and his job is basically to test the hearts of men to basically check on their spiritual progress that's all he does that's why he's in charge of reincarnation and time and so even in your bible you know Satan was said to be a very powerful angel one of the highest, or the highest angel, according to the biblical stories. Though it doesn't say this in Genesis. And then they, they say it, Satan was cursed from heaven. That's not true. If you read the story of Job, Satan's story is all about you and I, and our relationship with the netters, the netters being the gods. Because Satan... Obviously, in the story of Job, you know. They said God had a congregation set up with his children. And Satan came also. And so that tells you Satan has access into the earth and to the heavenly realm. Because God asked him, where have you come from? He said, I've been roaming through and fro the earth. Seeking whom I may test, basically. That's how it should read. And so God said, Have you considered my servant Job, an upright man? By the words of Satan, was simple. He is only serving you because he has everything he needs. And so God himself sent Satan to go and test him. By stripping his riches from him, everything he had. 
but gave one command, do not touch his life. For one very good reason only. If you are going to test somebody and you kill them, the test will not be accomplished. You see, And so, Satan is not some enemy of God. That is a work of Saturn. And these planets that we look at, we don't pay attention to them. But we have to understand these are all spiritual houses. We pay attention to the body. You go to the moon, there's no one there. These are spiritual houses. You have to pay attention to the energy, the workings of these, that which you call today planets, because, as I said, we call them gods in the ancient world. And these netters, these gods, obey a certain laws of the universe. And so you never see them wandering off into space. They follow a pattern, a law that governs over them. Just as we see our bodies. You see your mother's body, your father's body, your, your friends, whoever. But you don't see their spiritual body. Which is that which we refer to as a soul. And this soul never leaves the earth until it has passed the test of Saturn. That is simply the work of Satan being Saturn, Osiris, the god of the perfect black. Because we also need to understand there is an energy field all around us. Until you find yourself, you'll never leave the earth. Those who find themselves move to the fourth dimension, the astral plane. Where they exist without a physical body, but the light body. And these astral plane people can, what do you call entities? These are entities who can incarnate also in our world to become a guide to many. And so this type of people, when they incarnate, they have no attachments to this world because they have ascended to a very higher level of being where material things and stuff like this worldly affairs really doesn't bother them and so in a nutshell there isn't any entity like a demon called satan who runs around in the earth trying to devour you Because we need to understand that every soul is a son of God. And every soul is experiencing life. Their unique life. Only they can free themselves. And you can only do it through knowledge. That is why it's important to share knowledge. Because if you have knowledge in your mind and you don't share it, Nobody knows what time of the day or the hour they're going to leave this planet. And so the knowledge dies with you. You see, recently I watched a young, young girl with his mother traveling in America somewhere. They go to a bridge and she told her mother, I think she was about six years old or something. And she told her mother, Mommy, this is where I died in my last life. And she freaked out her mother, you know. 
But she gave the mother her name, her previous name, and the previous name was a, a, a black woman. She said, my car, I hit, I spun out of control and I, my, my car went into the river and I couldn't open the door and I died. And when I went to heaven, God sent me back. But now, obviously, she's a white, white girl now with her white parents. And so the mother freaked out, decided to check on the name. And when she checked on the name, she realized there was a black woman that lived in Atlanta somewhere. And her investigations led her to the house where this black woman had died. Exactly the same name. And they told the mother how she died through a car accident. But this young baby telling her mother this story blew her mother's mind. And so reincarnation is not a joke. That's why I shared one with you on a page. And obviously she had not completed her life and so they sent her back. But this time she's in the white person's body. You see, And so man is just not a piece of meat. Your true self is hidden from your view. And so I hope you understand. Osiris and Satan. Peace.